In this section, we're going to be solving quadratic equations by graphing. So let's look at an example of this. We're going to be solving the quadratic equation 2x squared minus 2 equals 0. So we can go ahead and rewrite this in a more common form, basically standard form of quadratic equation. So y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So when we rewrite the original equation, we would end up with y equals 2x squared plus 0x minus 2. So what we want to do is we want to start off by finding the axis of symmetry. And in order to do that, we can go ahead and use the formula. So negative b over 2a. And in this case, b is 0. So we automatically know that the axis of symmetry is going to be 0. Because anything 0 divided by anything equals 0. So we can go ahead and graph that on the coordinate plane right now. x equals 0. Make a dotted line there. Now we can take the x coordinate that we have, which is 0, plug it back into the original equation. So we would get 2 times 0 squared minus 2. And we can see that actually instead of putting a 0, you put a y. So we would have y equals 2x squared minus 2. And when we simplify this equation, we end up with 0 minus 2, which gives us negative 2, which is the y value of the vertex. So our vertex is 0, negative 2. Let's plot that point. Now what we want to do is we want to find two other points. So we're going to go ahead and do 1 and 2. So if we plugged 1 into the original equation, we would have y equals 2 times 1 squared minus 2 equals and we can go ahead and simplify this out a little bit so we would be left with 2 minus 2 which equals 0 so we know we have the coordinate pair zero, 1 0 so we can go ahead and plot that and now we want to do another point so let's do 2 you want to pick two points on the same side of the axis of symmetry so when we plug in 2, we get y equals 2 times 2 squared minus 2. And when we simplify that, we get 2 times 4 minus 2, which would be simplified to 8 minus 2, which equals 6. So we have the ordered pair 2, 6. Go ahead and plot that. Now we can connect all the dots that we have on one side of the axis of symmetry. Then we want to go ahead and flip it or reflect it across the axis of symmetry. And here you can see that we've been able to produce both sides of the parabola. Now, in order for, to solve this quadratic equation, basically we want to find the zeros. And we can do this by looking at the graph. And when we look at the graph, we can see that the zeros appear to be at negative 1 and 1. Because when x equals negative 1 or 1, y equals 0. And therefore, it is a zero of the graph. This can also be done by using a calculator and plugging in the original quadratic equation into your calculator and then solving for the zeros.